Why won't a guy commit? Now I hear this question all the time. Why won't a guy commit to me? Why won't he commit? Why won't he go exclusive? Why won't he commit? Why won't he take the next step? The thing is committing to someone, moving in together, having babies, these are emotional decisions. They're not logical decisions. Getting into a relationship or getting married or having babies, they're not really logical. It's not a business decision. These are emotional decisions. You do them when the emotions are in the right spot. So if the relationships are seven out of 10, he's not going to commit. If the relationships are seven out of 10, he's not going to get married. If the relationships are seven out of 10, he's not really going to want to have babies with you. It needs to be a 10 out of 10. Okay. If the emotions aren't in the right spot, if the emotions aren't high and he's not in love with you, he's not going to do it. So asking someone to commit or to have a relationship before they know you or before their emotions are engaged is a waste of time. Completely a waste of time. It's like trying to start a car when there's no engine in it. You're wasting your time. It's really, really dumb to do. Don't do that. The emotions have to be in place first. If it's not a 10 out of 10 and you're not in love with each other, the relationship's never going to happen. It's not going to be there. Okay. So if you want a guy to be exclusive with you and commit, the emotions have to have blossomed, which happens around if you know them and you're going on dates regularly. It happens around the eight week mark. You fall in love. You say, I love you to each other. And then you're exclusive in your relationship because you don't want to see any other people. Okay. And both of you feel the same. That's how a relationship works. So a common mistake a lot of people make, they go on online dating and they say, hey, let's, you know, what are you looking for? Never ask that question. No one knows what they're looking for because it's dependent on the person. Everyone wants a relationship with their ideal partner. Nobody wants a relationship with the wrong person, okay? So they don't know what they want until they find the right person. So instead of asking people what they want, ask them on a date. Go on a date together. Go on a date together and if it's really good, you go on another date and another date and by the time the eight week mark happens, you'll be in love with each other and then you'll, then you'll be in a relationship, okay? You can't make those emotional decisions without the emotions, okay? Make sense? Emotional decisions need the emotion. So a man's not gonna commit or a woman's not gonna commit. They're not gonna settle in. They're not gonna move in. They're not gonna have babies. They're not gonna get married without the emotion. It takes the emotion of love. You have to let the love blossom before the commitment happens of any kind of commitment that you want. Emotional decisions, remember that. It comes the same with promises too. The same thing. At the end of a breakup, if you say, you promised you'd be with me forever, yeah, and that's what he felt in that moment. He was talking out of his emotions. That was an emotional promise, okay? The emotions change, so does the promise. Make sense? Yeah, emotional decisions, emotional promises. It's very dependent on the emotion. That's why it's very important to always strive to get the relationship to a 10 out of 10 and to keep it there, continually striving to get it better and better and better. Don't just go, ah, oh, it's good enough. Because if it's good enough, it's never gonna it's never gonna be at a 10 out of 10 and that commitments and those different stages of relationships that you wanna hit is never gonna happen, okay? So don't do that.